Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Um, as you know, a lot of people have found out that I'm going to be taking a little bit of leave of absence from things. And let me explain to you why. Normally I have a, like, a list of things I have to go over. But I'm going to say fuck it today because I don't really give a shit. And yes, I'm not PG in the stream. And this ain't even the stream. Um, so basically... Um, I'll start from the beginning, and I'll tell you what to expect in the future. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible because of reasons. Um, basically, I got a... Jeez, the words are not coming to my head. I just recorded two bingo videos. Yes, I'm going to continue doing the videos, but I'm not going to be doing the streaming, and I'm, my like online stuff is going to be a lot less because I'm going to be so busy. But basically, I got a promotion at work. I was a sub for 10 years at the post office. And after you get seniority gets to a certain level, you go from sub to getting a regular route. And here's the deal. When you become regular, you get a bonus of uh, like a $2 or something raise or something like that. But I was a sub for so long and I got an increase of my pay from cost of living increases, COLA increases. By the time I became a regular, my raise wasn't that great. And as a sub, you can work overtime. So you're usually working 55, 60 hours a week all year round. Um, as a regular, you don't work overtime. So losing the overtime pay, uh, even though I get paid more an hour, I am making about $1,200 less a pay period, which is bi-monthly. So every other week I get paid. And we live paycheck to paycheck, so I need to make that t extra $1,200 that I'm missing. So I said, no problem. I see these people do an Uber and Lyft, and they make tons of money, and I can easily work four or five days a week, maybe, and get that extra five hundred, six, five to $600 a week. Actually, my goal with Uber and Lyft is $500 a week. So I said, that that's going to be no problem. Uh, so might as well do that. And... Um, it's easy because I can choose my own hours with the post office. I could be out at 1230 in the afternoon or I could be out at 5 p.m. at night. So it's not like I can have a job because if you get a second job, all second jobs want to be the job that you revolve your time around. You know, no job wants to be the second job. So when you get a job in another place, you're going to be like, well, you got to need to make time for us. I don't care if you're working another job. You have to be here at a certain time. So it's not like I can... Go, so, hey, uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna be there till five o'clock today. That just doesn't cut it, especially for jobs. So, Uber and Lyft. I said, well, I can start and I can come home. I can take, you know, have dinner or lunch or whatever, uh, shower, then go out and drive until I make the required amount for the day. And um, it hasn't been happening. Um, I live in a rural area. It's not too, I mean, it's kind of city-ish. I mean, Fort Myers, Naples are kind of cities. <clears throat> but the job isn't there. So what I need to, needed to make was at least $500. And I've finished a whole week and I made $180. And I've worked a whole ton, ton of time. Um, so we're not covering our bills. So I have to focus on... Figuring out ways to create money for my family so we can survive. Um, our rent was basically my paycheck, and we had no money to buy food this week. So uh, the little bit of money that I have made, and when I said the little bit, I'm not accounting when I say I made 180 bucks. I'm not accounting for the $50 I had to spend in gas to get that. So basically... Where I am located, and I'm going to say that where I am located, because if you live in a city, like if I were to make the hour, two hour jaunt over to Miami, I could probably make a lot more. Or if I work this in San Francisco or Boston or Chicago, you'll probably do really good with Uber and Lyft. But in the middle of nowhere, I'm not really not in the middle of nowhere, but in the middle of um, Southwest Florida, you're not going to do crap. Um, so after a week of doing uber and lyft uh i'm eight, making only eight dollars an hour and that's not including the gas and the wear and tear in the car so it's really not profitable it it's great if you want to um you want a little extra cash on the side you know like oh we did everything and we're forty dollars short for whatever for the week you can go out for four or five hours and do that 
make that money. But um, overall, it's not something I would suggest people to make a living at unless you live in a rural, you know, an urban area and near a city that you can go to pretty easily. So I've been really, really stressed out about the fact that we've been uh, basically eating soup and hot dogs for the week and uh, everybody's pissy in the house because that's going on and then there's something big inevitable looming issue on the side where um, Stacy's being checked out for leukemia. Uh, we're waiting for a biopsy on that. So that is also a huge thing looming on the side. And it's like I've been working for the past decade to become regular. And I've become regular at the post office. And my life has just fallen apart. So um, I have made note of this in the past where... Um, in order for me to really feel at ease or calm, I need to be creating something. If I'm not creating, being creative in a certain way, I get really anxious and I get really edgy. It's like I've drank too much coffee and it's like I'm ready to snap at anybody at any time. And it's just, I, I don't like that version of me. So when I'm like that, I tend to pull away from things. And so I'm kind of like staying away from, trying to stay away from Discord and Twitch and all that in my free time because... Um, I'm not in a real good place because basically I'm working so much that, uh, you know, work creates stress and then you relax and recover. The work creates stress, so you relax and recover. Well, work creates stress. I don't have time to relax and recover. Work creates more stress. I don't have time to relax. More stress. And it's just the stress is building and building and, you know, I'm liable to go mental on somebody. But, um... That's basically where I am, and part of the reason why I'm making this video is uh, Blaze said, please don't uh, stop making the weekly updates, so that's what I'm doing, I'm making a weekly update. Um, it's kind of not a happy one, I'm not happy at all with what's going on, I am not ha satisfied with what's going on, I am disgusted with what's going on as a matter of fact and I made a video yesterday and it ended up with tears, so I'm like, fuck this, I'm deleting this shit. Um, because I'm not in a good place, and so it's another reason why I'm kind of keeping my distance. Um, I'm pissed off that I can't stream. It's really bugging the hell out of me, and I'm pissed off that I can't make dragon fights or UHCs or golf with friends and all these community events that are happening all around me that I would normally be able to make, but no, nope. I have to go out and work for five hours, drive a hundred miles, and make 20 bucks. That's what the fuck's going on. So, uh, not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, and that's basically the update. So what to expect in the future? I, <laughs> I still wake up an hour earlier for work than I need to. So I make, uh, my, I'm still going to make my YouTube videos, so the video part of my life is still going to happen because I need to have at least some creativity going on in my life or else I'm going to pull my hair out. And all I got left is my chest hair, so that hurts a lot more than pulling out your hair on the head. Um, so the videos will still be there. I'm still going to attend to the Discord a little bit. Um... We had the internet turned off, and I didn't think I was going to have internet at all, but we have somebody helped us out with that, so we have internet, so I can upload videos and talk to people. Um, but I'm going to be distant for a while because we need to. I need to make the extra $500 a week, and I'm going to be spending all that time, all my free time to do that, and until I hit that $500 a week, I'm not going to take any time off. So I'm working... Seven days a week, 13 hours a day, basically, um, for the next while until things happen and um, we can catch up, I guess, or pay our bills or feed ourselves. Um, nope, stop it. <laughs> no, no tears. So, yeah. Um, I feel bad also because a lot of my good friends, or at least I consider them good friends. I don't know if I'm a good friend on the way back, 
but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. I just, you know, my insecurity sucks. When, I, when I'm stressed like this, everything, everything that I work on so hard to keep level, because I have a lot of mental issues, uh, and especially with the insecurity, you know, and I have OCD, so I get an image, you know, I get something stupid in my head, and I just dwell on it and roll it over, and so something that's like an anthill becomes a huge mountain, and it's really nothing. I'm looking too far into things, but... So, um, things aren't... <laughs> yeah, things aren't great. Um, so, uh, let me get back. The YouTube videos are still going to happen. Um, I may or may not stream on Wednesday. Depends on what's going on. Um, because... If I can actually make money during the day on Wednesday, sorry, um, I'm not going to stream. And honestly, on May 13th is when uh, I'm going to have to start working six days a week. Let me take a look at the calendar real quick. Yeah, starting May 13th, I'm going to start working six days a week. So Wednesdays are out of the question after May 13th anyway. So if I'm going to be streaming... You're going to catch these streams up to May 13th. But some light at the end of the tunnel, guys. This is what I'm hoping for. God, this is a fucking long video. Sorry. Um, there's going to be some routes going up for bid, three or four of them in the summer. And the first one starts in May 23rd. So if I can get my ass on a bigger route... I won't have to work so much on the side, so maybe I can bring back the streams a little bit. And that's kind of what we're ho I'm hoping for, is switching routes to a bigger route so I can uh, work more hours at the post office and not have to work so much outside of the post office. And right now, I need to work at the post office more than outside of the post office. So that's the goal, and I will keep you updated on that. Please keep your... Um, Thoughts and prayers with Stacy, and hopefully that uh, she isn't as sick as she might be. And um, please keep supporting me because even though I'm not around that much, the support really helps. There it comes again. So I'm going to go before I start crying. I'm going to be okay. It's just a really fucking tough time in my life right now. And uh, any support you can give me. Whether or not it's a hug on the internet or whatever, it was would be helpful, okay? Bye.